If you're like me and you build Squarespace websites for other people, one of the main things that you have to do on every single project is transfer the ownership of that site to whoever is paying you to make it. But there may be other reasons. You may be leaving a company and for some reason your email is associated as the owner. And in that case, you'll need to transfer the ownership to someone who's still in the organization. So this is a really handy thing to know if you know it ever comes to that. So it's simple, but it looks complex if you were just to, to look at it as an uninitiated Squarespace user. So I'm going to take you through step by step how to transfer the ownership of a website to someone else on Squarespace. So to transfer your Squarespace website, as I said, it looks complicated. It's really not. What we want to do is go into settings and we want to find permissions. We click on permissions and then we can see who's on the website. So you can see the owner and you can see all the contributors and what their roles are. You can see all of these here. So if you're the owner or an admin, you can actually see everyone's permissions. You just can't edit your own if you're a contributor. If you're the owner, obviously you can just toggle everyone's dependent on what you want to give them. The first step is to actually invite someone onto the site who you want to own the website. So you click invite, then put the name in. We'll just call this person name, nameson. Doesn't really matter what the name says. I think that's just what Squarespace put in the invite email. Then you want to just put that email in. Now this does matter. This is where the ownership is going to be registered. So I'm going to put in my old blog email like so. And then I'm going to toggle admin. Then just hit invite. I mean, if you're not going to actually hand over ownership, you can select various things that you want from them or you want to give them access to. I just find it easier to toggle admin. Click invite. They'll get the invite. And we can see in the email, that is what Squarespace addressed the person as, <laughs> name, names, and, and then all they have to do is click accept invitation and they're on. So you can see the man blueprint at gmail.com and it just uses their name. It doesn't actually call them name, names, and on the website. So once they're on, they can actually see in settings and permissions who's on the website as well. So Sam Crawford is a popular boy on this website. But anyway, what you need to then do once they've accepted and they're on the contributors is actually transfer the website. So to do that, once you're actually logged into the account that owns the website, you'll see this. So transfer ownership, then you just need to verify your email and then it'll give you this option. So it basically says transfer ownership and then a little bit of spiel underneath. And then you get to choose from whoever is on the website who you want to own it. So I'm going to transfer that to the man blueprint click continue, click confirm, and you can see that Sam Crawford now owns the website. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. If you want to actually remove yourself from the site, you know, once you've transferred it, then you can do that. And what you'd have to do is go into your dashboard. So we'll go back to that now. You want to then click on the three dots and then remove me. So we click on this, remove, and then you're gone. So if you want to wipe the site clean, get rid of the website and then get off the website, then that's how you do it. If you found this useful, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all the Squarespace resources in the description below.